so bad, bro. What? Hi guys, it's Erpa here and in this video I'm bringing you out a brand new tutorial. This tutorial was actually requested by a guy called Shuriken. He commented on my latest montage that he wanted me to do a tutorial on this effect. So I decided to do effect. You can also always comment down below if you want any tutorial. This tutorial is really easy to do. You don't need any plugins, you only need one thing. That's the overlay that I will leave a link to in the description. Enough talking, let's get right into the video. So the first thing you need to do is to sync up the clip with the music. How to do that is just press on the music, find the beat you want the kill to happen. So mine is right here. Go to it, press M on your keyboard, you will see a mark pop up. Then you go to your clip and mark the shot of impact. The shot of impact is where you see those red dots appear. So this is the first frame they're appearing. So I am pre pressing M again here and we see it's appeared two marks. Now put on this uh, like magnet tool so you just can slip it in and all these three markers will be in a straight line so it will be. I see it perfectly syncing and for this effect you don't need to do any time remapping not when the kill happens or anything you need to go to the description right now and download this effect uh, so go to the description and download it right now and just drag it into your timeline press on the clip go to fusion the fusion tab Unpress it because it's a bug if you just do it directly if you want to but unpress like press anywhere press on the median again press control space write in Delta key here and this should pop up then you need to find where as I said where the black is and drag this on the black so right here and right here if it doesn't work then you need to do it manually you just press on it and drag it to black so now, as we see, it's fully transparent and we can start seeing it. Time may, might be laggy, so go up to playback, time proxy mode, half resolution. But how to do, like, so it falls on with this border, is to press on the clip, uh, go to inspect, go to video, and keyframe, the first frame of where defect pops up, go like maybe. Uh, three frames, zoom out and make the rotation angle a little bit. Remember to always keyframe this because then all everything will be keyframed. Go maybe like uh, to here, keyframe, need to change the rotation maybe a little bit smaller. Go like some frames more, keyframe here, make it so it's is right in go back so right here so you see it's really easy you just need to follow it along by keyframing the clip so right there then rotation angle we need to do zero wait my look this this good but you guys see what i'm doing it's really easy to do i will make it faster but you can do it every frame if you want to be more accurate but this is a tutorial so jump over some frames but yeah i'll see you when i'm done So now I'm back, uh, this is, uh, I'm not fully done, but I wanted to say one thing. When you come to this part where the glow starts to go in, you need to keyframe on the last frame it starts to like moving forward. So right here it starts to move forward. Make a keyframe right here on the same keyframes that you had on the last keyframe. Then you go to the last frame of uh, this, keyframe it and make it to one so it should look like this way yeah it's laggy but I don't know why but but as you see we have the effect done I can put on a fast little like kill effect I will just drag something like this by the way if you want all of this I will link a link in the description to the best preset pack with the all this cool kill effects that I do in my montages so I will leave a link in the description and on the end screen and 
Now we are pretty much done, as you see it. Yeah, the, it's laggy, but... As you see, it looks really good, and now we are done. And uh, I will say one last thing. I would appreciate so much if you drop a like and a sub. I put so much time in doing this effect. It was hard to make it. See you in the next video.